All right, you guys, so let's talk about equipment for a second. Again, you can do this entire workout with no equipment except for a slider. Okay, so you do need one of these. I'm on a hard floor, so I'm gonna use a towel as my slider today. If you're on a carpet at home, you can use a paper plate or a plastic plate, that will work too. I recommend standing next to something that you can put your hand on for a little bit of support, a piece of furniture, stand next to your couch, something you can just quickly put your hand on if you need a balance check. We're gonna be doing some work on the floor today. To add more resistance to our workout, I'm going to be using 10 pounds of resistance with my five pound dumbbells. So I'm gonna hold on to both of those. I've done this workout with up to 20 pounds before, just holding a 20 pound dumbbell in one hand or in both hands here for our squats and our lunges. Um, that again is totally optional. You really can make this entire workout as hard or as easy as you want to by adjusting how heavy you go with the weights and how heavy you go with the loop band. Again, if you're a beginner, you don't need one of these at all. I'm gonna use a medium weight band today. When I'm at home, I use a heavy and a medium. I wrap them around my thighs for some side leg lifts and for some squats that we're gonna do. They have these that come super light resistance and really heavy resistance. So you just have to find out what works for you and what you need. The goal is we're gonna be doing about 20 reps of every exercise. So, you know, say we're doing a lunge, we're gonna do 20 of those. We're gonna come on the floor and do some inner thigh lifts, 20 of those. So at the end, when we get to number 20, you should feel pretty tired, pretty burnt out. If you're not and you're like, oh yeah, I can keep going, you need to up your resistance a little bit more. Okay, so that's just your cue. Okay, next time I do this, I need to go with a heavier loop band or a little bit heavier weight, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise. We're gonna use our sliders. You do not need a weight, but again, if you want to, you're gonna hold on to both weights in one hand, okay? So we're gonna take this left leg back right here. We're gonna pop the heel up. You're gonna take a long lunge back and then you're gonna lift the chest to come up. The back leg stays straight. Keep the front knee behind the toes and do not lift the booty to come up. You wanna lift the chest to come up. It's up to you how low you go in that lunge. So you can take it small and bring it up or you can come all the way down if you're more flexible, okay? All right, roll the shoulders down and back, ready? We're gonna do 20, here we go. All the way down, lift the chest to come up. All the way down and all the way up. Nothing that we're doing today is gonna be too fast. It's all about slow and control, really digging deep into those muscles and keeping good technique. I didn't want this workout to be about cardio. I wanted it to be all about sculpting and shaping those thigh muscles. Good, all the way down, all the way up. Now as you go down, you lean forward with the chest a little bit. So we have a straight line from the shoulders, hips, and ankle. Feel free to take it at your own tempo. You can go faster than me or slower than me, it's totally fine. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that weight in that front heel as you come up. Yes, you guys, knees tracking right in line with your toes. Let's do two more right here. And last one, down and up. Good, quick flip around right into the other side. Again, pop that heel. Towel goes underneath the other foot this time. Reset the posture, abs in tight. Here we go. All the way down, all the way up. Lean forward slightly, straight line through the body. This knee is tracking right in line with the toes. Keep that butt down as you come up. Good. Weights go straight down to the ground. This move is really great for working that under booty area. We're halfway there, 10 more. Good. You really feel this all along the back of the thigh and in the butt. This is a great butt exercise. Good. Stay with it.
Let's go three more right here. Pull the, the abs in tight, two. And last one as low as you can go. All the way down, all the way up. So good, move that towel, come onto the mat. Optional, you can add a weight here. I'm just gonna add one. We're gonna come onto your side. So we're gonna come down onto our elbow, right underneath our shoulder. Don't droop down here, pick it up, press the shoulder down. So our bottom leg is straight with the foot flexed. Make sure the toes aren't pointing up, turn them out to the side. Top knee is bent. From here, I'm gonna put the weight on my thigh. You don't need to use a weight at all, that's totally fine. We're gonna lift that leg up and then down 20 times. If you wanna make it harder, push on your leg with your hand and resist coming down, okay? Here we go, up and down, up and down. Abs in tight. See, I'm using my hand to push my leg down, but then I'm pushing up against the weight with my leg as I lower. So my hand's trying to get that leg down, my leg's trying to stay up. Good, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Let's do a few more. Five right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Quit flip around right into the other side. Elbow on the floor underneath your shoulder. Top leg bent, bottom leg straight. Flex the foot, toes turn out to the side. Lift for 20. Take it up and down. Up and down. Squeeze the inner thigh, point the inner thigh toward the ceiling. Make sure you're rotating from that hip. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Chest lifted right here. Let's go 10 more, 10. Remember, if you want to, you can push on your leg with that hand, resist coming down. Good. Two more. Last one. Okay, lower down. Let's get rid of that weight. From here, we're gonna grab the loop band. Now we're gonna be standing but I think it's easier to put these on when you're on the floor. <laughs> so it's gonna go around your legs, and it's gonna go around your thighs, about an inch or two above your kneecaps, okay? And so what the band is gonna do, it's gonna add resistance like a weight would, but it's making it so that as we lift our leg out to the side, we have to work harder in these outer thigh muscles and in the side of the booty, okay? All right, so we're gonna be doing a V squat. So your legs are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. I like to turn my toes out to the side just the hair. Okay, so we're gonna be down into our squat. We're gonna pulse down two times. The weight is evenly distributed between the legs. And then we're gonna tap the right foot in every time, same leg. Make sure that when you come into that squat, your knees aren't rolling forward, inward here. Keep them pressed out using the sides of the muscles right here on the thigh. Your knees are staying in line with the toes, okay? So it goes down, down, and bring it in. We're doing 20 of these. That little extra pulse at the bottom, down, down right there is going to give you a little extra burn. Hold these abs nice and tight. Keep that chest lifted. When you do a squat, your weight is in your heels. You really push that booty back. Down, down, and up. Squeeze underneath that tush right here to come up. Good. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. Good, you guys. Excellent job, stay with it. Keep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is the problem with doing this thumb music when I talk to you guys. I lose count. <laughs> That's right. Keep going. Down, down, up. Four. Three. Keep that chest up. Two. And last one. All the way up right here. We're gonna take a little break with the quads. We're gonna work the outer thigh. You're gonna flex this foot, pull the toe towards the shin. We're gonna bend this knee slightly, just holding onto the bar for some stability. Lift up, up, lower down. Up, up, lower down. It's the same thing, that double pulse, really burning out that thigh. Up, up, down. <sighs> 
Keep the chest lifted, reaching long through the spine. Halfway there. Remember, we're doing 20 reps of each. Straight leg. This knee is slightly bent. This one is straight. Good. Five. Tap. Four. Three. Yes. Two. Last one. Up, up, tap. Good, and we're gonna go into the other side, starting with our squat. So this time, right leg steps out, you come into your V squat, pulls it down, down, and then bring this leg in every time. Shoulders down and back, abs engaged. Here we go. 20, right here. And up, down, down, up. Good, you guys. Knees tracking right over the toes. Weight in the heels to come up. Good. Down, down, up. Yes, so good, you guys. Keep it going. You have to be feeling your thighs right now. Yes. Good, push that booty back. Core engaged, navel towards your spine, rib cage closed. Oop, we had our first sweat droplet right there. <laughs> A few more. Let's do three more. Three. Two. Last one, get low. Down, down, up. Excellent, holding on for some support. Bend that standing knee, straighten this leg, flex the toe, lift it up, up, tap the heel. Up, up, tap the heel. Up, up, and down. Get taller, lengthen through the spine. Squeeze, pull against that band. Good job. Ten more right here. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Good, soft in that standing knee. Keep that the whole time. Abs engaged. Yes, you guys. Four more. Four. Up, up, down. Two. Last one. Lower down. So good, you guys. Step out of that band. Excellent job. Oh, we're sweating all over the place. That's good. From here, we're gonna grab those weights again. If you want more resistance, this time you're gonna put them on your shoulders here. We're gonna be doing some second plies, like in bar, you guys are pro at these. So your legs are wide, heels wider than shoulders, toes turn out to the side. Now, very important, you're gonna be bending the knees here and then stretching, squeezing the inner thighs to come up. Do not stick your butt out when you do these at all. It's like you have a wall behind you and you're sliding down the wall. Squeeze the inner thighs to come up, okay? Okay, so legs wide right here. We're gonna bend the knees, press the knees back as you go down. So we're gonna go down, two, three, fast squeeze up. Down, two, three, and up. We're doing 20 of these. Really squeeze this inner thigh as you come up, driving your heels into the ground. Good, down, two, three, up, down, two, three, up. Good, again, don't let your knees roll forward. Keep them pressed back. Good, get taller, lengthen through the spine. Yeah, stay with it. Stay with it, you guys, good job. Keep that chest up. Don't stick that booty out. Let's do four more. Three. Two. Last one. All the way down, get low and squeeze up. Excellent job. All right, put those weights back on the floor. 
I'm not using any equipment for this one. If you want, you can use ankle weights. You can even put the loop band back around your thighs. It's totally up to you. Come down onto your stomach right here. So your head is just gonna go on the mat on your hands right here. Your legs are out in a V. So take your legs out to the corners of your mat. My kneecaps are turned out to the side a little bit. So they're not pointing down, they're rotated out. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift the legs up, squeeze, tap the heels together, open back up and then close. Here we go. Take it up, heels tap, open and close. Lift it up, heels tap, open and close. So this one's working the inner thigh as you pull those heels together. And when you lift the legs straight up, you're working the butt, the under booty, and the back of the thigh and the hamstring right there. Good. Think of picking your belly button up off the mat. So we're still engaging that core. Yes. Up, tap, open, close. Up, tap, open, lower. Good. Few more. Three. Two. Can we get those legs a little higher? Yes. Last one. Lower down. Good. Push your weight back. Knees stay wide. Take your bottom to your heels. Walk your fingertips forward. We're going to do just a quick stretch and then we're going to go on to our second round. So that was all the exercises. We're going to repeat it one more time. Okay. So now you have a better idea of what resistance you need to use. If you need to go heavier or lighter with the weights or the band, you want to add some ankle weights. Okay. Whatever you guys need. Two second stretch break. Roll on up through the spine and excellent job. Okay. We're going to go in with our second set, starting with our slider lunges right here. Again, I like to be next to something that I can put my hand on for a little bit of support. Pop that heel up. Weights go in the same hand. Now again, remember, as you go down into that lunge, the back leg is straight, front knee stays behind the toes, and lift the chest to come up, not the butt, okay? All right, shoulders down and back. We have 20 of these. Here we go. Don't rush it. Down and up. Straight line through the body. So you have a slightly forward chest lift to come up. Down and lift and down and lift. Hold that core in really tight. Weight is all in that front heel, especially as you come up. Squeeze underneath that butt cheek. Good, you guys. Stay with it. You've got it. Can we get a little bit lower? This is our last set on this leg. Okay, so let's push through. Dig deep into that front thigh. Yeah, so good, you guys. A few more. Two more right here. As low as you can. Last one. All the way up. Yes. Switch sides. Weights go in the opposite hand. Slider under the other foot. Pop that heel. Shoulders down and back. Here we go. Knee stays tracking right in line with your toes on that front leg. Down. Squeeze and lift. And down. Squeeze and lift. Don't use a lot of pressure on this hand. Okay, it's really just there for balance. Don't use your hand to pull yourself up. Use the thighs. You can even put your hand on your hip if you want to. It's up to you. Good, we're halfway there. Keep it going. Yes, press that front heel into the ground to come up. I know I keep saying it, but it's so important. Nice, don't rush it. We got it. Six. Five. Three. Two, 
And last one, get low. All the way up. Oh, so good. Towel goes on the side, keep one weight right here. Again, elbow goes on the mat, right underneath your shoulder. Top leg bent, bottom leg straight. Flex that foot, turn the toes out to the side. If you want, weight goes on the side. Lift that leg right here for 20. Take it up, press it down. Up, press it down. How are you guys doing? Second set right here, are you feeling those thighs burning? We're working all the different areas of your thigh. Such a good workout. Yeah, shoulders down away from the ears. So good. You got it. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Ho! Oh, yes, other side. Quick flip around. Okay, elbow under shoulder. Weight on that bottom leg. Flex the foot. Toes turn now. Up for 20. Up. Use that hand to press the leg down. Yes. Not too fast. It's all about control and range of motion in this workout. Halfway there. 10 more. Got it. Four, three, oh, I'm dying. Two, one, yes, lower down. Weight goes on the side. Grab that loop band, goes around the sides right here. Again, easier to do it sitting on the floor. All right, about an inch or two above your knees. Stand on up. Now remember, we have our V squat with one foot stepping out. So our legs are a little bit wider than shoulders. I like my toes turned out just a little bit. You push your booty back, down, down, and then bring this leg in, ready? 20 right here. It goes down, down, left leg in. Down, down, up. Abs engaged, push your butt back, weight in the heels, chest lifted. Down, down, lift. Feel your thighs pushing against the band. Really pressing the knees back. Don't let them roll forward. That's so bad for your knees. Down, down, up. Good. I am dripping. Are you guys sweating? It's amazing. It's all low impact, no jumping. My heart rate is definitely up. You can burn a lot of calories and get a good cardio workout with all strength training, right? Just turning so you can see. Few more right here. Three, two, last one. Good. Rest the quads, just the outer thigh right here. Again, softly bend that standing knee. Straighten this leg, flex the foot. It goes up, up, tap the heel. Up, up, tap. Up, up, tap. Catch your breath in through the nose. Take a long breath out through the mouth. You got it. Try to keep your hips pretty still. Okay, so we're not lifting here and then dropping down. Keep this even. It's just that leg moving. Core engaged. Draw this in and up. A few more. Four. Three. Two, last one, up, up and down, good. Feet together, this time we're gonna step out into our V squat. Right leg moves, ready? Pop that heel up, it goes down, down, tap it in. Booty back, weight in the heels. Down, down, up. Good, you guys. How are you? Are you feeling those thighs? They'll be tighter tomorrow, I promise. And that booty, yes.
all about your pace, all about control. Don't rush any of these movements. Okay, keep those knees pressing out, pressing against the band. Let's do three more. Two more. Last one. Good. Soften the standing knee. Flex this foot. Straighten that leg. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Remember, keep this level. Hips don't move. Squeeze, squeeze, down. Side of the booty, side of the thigh. Tightening and sculpting out those muscles. Good. Up, squeeze, down. Up, higher, down. Yes. I know we get tired, those pulses start lagging. Got to keep that energy up. Halfway there. Yes. You got it. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Up, up, down. Good job. All right, go ahead and take that band off. We're done with this. Grab the weights. We have our second plie squats again. Okay, so remember this one. Weights on the shoulders, legs really wide, toes turn up, and it's like you have a wall behind you. Slide down the wall, don't stick your butt out. Here we go. It goes down slow, two, three, quick up. Down, two, three, quick up. We're doing 20 of these. Yes. Last move for our quads. Keep your energy up. Press your knees back as you go down so they're not rolling forward. When I keep them open. Quick up. Down, two, three, quick up. Squeeze these inner thigh muscles to come up right there. Chest up, guys. I know we're tired. Stay with me. Yes. Let's go 10 more right here. Squeeze. Nine. Squeeze. Penny will get a little bit lower. Yes. Oh, we had our first thigh shake right there. Love it. So good, you guys. I don't know. Maybe I've been shaking the whole time. Totally fine. Shakes are acceptable. <laughs> Two. Squeeze that booty as you come up. Last one. Get low and up. Drop those weights. Last move right here, you guys. On your stomach, on the mat. Power through. Energy up right here. Take a deep cleansing breath into the nose, out through the mouth. That's your energetic breath right there. Okay, hands down on the mat, head on your hands. Legs out in a V. Turn your kneecaps out to the side just slightly. Now remember, you lift the legs, tap the heels, lower and down. 15, right here. Ready? Here we go. Take it up, heels tap, open and close. Up, tap, open and close. Squeeze the inner thighs together as you bring those heels in and tap. Good. Squeeze that booty to lift the legs up. Good, lift your belly button up off the mat, engaging the core. Tap, open, close. Can we get those legs a little bit higher? Keep your energy up right here. Don't get tired, don't get tired. Lift, tap, open, close. Lift, tap, open. Two more, you guys. Power through, you've got it. Last one, legs up. Up, tap, open, close. So good. Heels together, knees apart. Take your bottom back to child's pose. Walk your fingertips forward. Hold the stretch right here. Excellent job, you guys. Excellent job. Roll up through the spine. Oops, leave your mat where it is though. Let's do a quick stretch right here. So we'll do the glutes first, legs out long. Cross one ankle over the leg. Opposite arm, grab the knee, sit up tall and twist right here. Stretching out the glutes. That should feel really good on your butt. Good, go ahead and unwind, other side. 
cross that leg over, opposite arm, grab that knee, sit up tall and twist. Good, release, come down, legs out long, arms come up and we're gonna forward bend. Just hold it wherever you feel the stretch. If it's here, that's fine. If you're one of those people that can reach way past your toes, that's fine too, okay? Just pull your chest toward your thighs, try to straighten behind the back of your knees and let your lower back just melt right here. You deserve this stretch, you guys. You worked your butt off, good job. Good, roll on up, quick stand up right here. We're gonna stretch out the quads. So you're gonna grab your foot, pull your heel towards your bottom, keep your knees together and just hold the stretch up right here. This is stretching out the quads, so the front of the thigh. And let's switch, other side. Grab that heel towards your bottom, knees stay together. If you want a little extra stretch, you can push your foot into your hand. Kind of play around with it and see what feels good to you. And let's go ahead and release, shake it out. So good, you guys, you are done. Feel free to keep stretching. I highly recommend rolling out your muscles tonight or maybe tomorrow if you start to feel any tightness or soreness at all, get a foam roller, really work all the areas of your thighs, the back, the front. If you have a tennis ball or a racquetball at home and you sit or lie on it on your with it underneath your butt and kind of roll out these muscles, that will feel really good too. It's so important that we're not just stretching to recover from our workouts. We gotta actively roll out those muscles as well, okay? Thank you guys so much for sharing my workouts with your friends and family on your social media pages. You guys have no idea. That means the world to me. It has helped me grow my channel so much. If you guys would continue to do that, to share my workouts, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. You worked your butt off. Go rest, take a nice bath, do something fun, relaxing, and I'll see you guys next time.